I think I went to the Kiwi power plant. It was fat in a field trip one time. And of course, you go through their museum and they're they're like, this banana has more radiation than our reactor. And it's like, hmm. that can't be true. It's like the tour guide has seven fingers on that hand. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great if they had a burn victim as the tour guide. Why don't why don't we put a bunch of nuclear power plants in Canada? This is unrelated. Yeah. Unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. If they got like an elephant man to do the tour. <laughs> <laughs> or just gave him a th- he's got a third arm coming out of his back all haphazardly. That like that oh. really cheery motivational speaker from Australia with no limbs. They'd wheel him around Ooh, and he exist? tells you you didn't know about this guy? No. Yeah, he no. can somehow swim. Or maybe they're j- maybe those no, videos are cut quickly. Wait, is his name Giorgio or something? <laughs> no. yeah. I don't think so. But he if he's I absolutely a guy. This is not no a dream. Arms. I watched the swim with no arms. He's fucking badass. I he was yeah, but he had fat. legs. He did have legs. He swam like a dolphin. He didn't breathe for 50 <laughs> meters. He just held his breath and swam underwater the whole time. Oh, apparently. Yeah, his name's um, Nick Vujicic from Australia. He has how do he lose kids. the arms? Born yeah, without yeah. arms and born without legs. Yeah, he's jumping in the, in, in the pool. Show me a picture of this guy. I got to see what he looks like. Does he look like a tadpole or something? He, he's not very mobile. Looking, you don't think um, <laughs> he looks I mean, like? Does he look like uh, what, what are those whales at the Atlanta uh, Aquarium, Woody, that look like they've got hips? Beluga, do, beluga, is he like, like shaped like a beluga whale? <laughs> I want to see this. What is this? You look at the beluga whale from the right angle, it's kind of sexy. Why is this on LinkedIn, dude? It's good looking, too. Look at him there, there he is. with his fucking jean shorts on. Now, depending on whether or not this <laughs> video, if you play it, shows him going down or up. Would change my opinion of his swimming. Definitely career. down. Like, but look at how calm the person behind him is. Like he's done this before. He's he's oh, swimming. Dude, it's a missed opportunity that his name is Nick. Like he, this floating guy with no arms and no legs should be named Bob. A hundred percent. Yeah, but look, he's in a good mood. He's always talking, or at least you know, I bet guy. his Halloween. I bet his Halloween costumes Whoa, are great. Is that a hint of a foot? That is yeah, he's got he's got a little little thing down. He's there. got a little helper foot. That's how yeah. he got look, that. No wonder he's got three or four kids. Look at that hog. Yeah. <laughs> he's got four kids. You think four his four kids? You think his lady? You think Good he puts him. that in her? You, you think he gets her with that little baby foot? I bet this. I look so. at that face. That guy does whatever he pleases. She better be into that. So yeah. she's yeah. the only one with that opportunity. Really, I'm glad yeah. that some people are able to find what you if know, you that itch? happiness. Man, I I well I. I'd, I'd itch my way over to drowning myself in that pool if this happened to me. I'm going to tell you right now. Not if you have his skills. He Losing couldn't drown if he wanted to. Oh, I'd figure it out. I'd put my head in that fucking like uh, that, that round filter th- filter pot and just go upside down in there. Look at this oh, guy. Oh, is that God. the guy I was talking about? Giorgio or something? Then, now, this I guy think... looks like he had arms because it looks like there's a scar or something there. Mm. Whereas the other guy, OG, no arm kind of guy. What the fuck? Zang Tao. No, that's not the guy I was thinking of. Okay, I, I want to see how, how far he's kicked himself out of the water here. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, is he, how far out of the water is this guy? Which he is probably has two legs to get that high. No limb athletes. When I swam in college, one of the other teams had a dude with one leg. And he sucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was always swimming in circles out there. <laughs> He's just coming into your lane. <laughs> okay. Out of my lane. Guy, obviously, this guy can swim. He has legs. Well, I yeah. mean, still, though, he doesn't have funny fucking arms. I'm Neither do fish. Just... Yeah, that's true. Are fish you a are you, are you a, are you a are you a competent <laughs> good swimmer, Kyle? No. No. I can keep myself alive. I don't think I would drown um <laughs> unless the waters were like pretty choppy um but but if it got anything more than that i would go down uh i think that i can i yeah not a good swimmer so you don't um, know like the strokes you couldn't do I mean, like i know them freestyle backstroke knowing them and doing them is another thing doing them well is another thing it's just i know them but i'm not a good swimmer now okay i've i've I, part of me still thinks when i hear like an adult say like i don't know how to swim Part of me is like, just get in the water and it'll just happen. Like just intuitively, like how, like move in the water 
and then the Woody as a lifeguard is like, no, obviously not. You fucking. Yeah. I tell people out. to swim. It's not natural for humans at all. It's it seems so easy. Maybe it's because I did swim lessons as a kid. It's but. bizarre that they don't just get horizontal. They're, they're they're sort of bobbing up and down and sort of like trying to pull themselves to out like and grasp they, at it with wide fingers. Oh, it, it's it's weird watching someone drown like that. I think I saw a news story where like a kid fell in a pool and two adults drowned trying to save the kid in the pool. What? That's what the fuck? No one was like paying recently. Attention. How big was this pool? No one. I wish I was there. That would be like no big deal. Saving a child. Triple a kill. Pool. Yeah. Like, yeah, you'd have to save the two adults who went in. That's after. not hard either. Like it's, it's it, Woody could have his nachos what? in his other hand while he's doing <laughs> yeah. it. I really do think if you're like Woody, save all three of them, hold a brick in one hand, I'd be okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think I could save them. I think it's, I could get the kid out of there, but I'm not going in for an adult anyway. Yeah, mm. it's against your principles. Should have learned to swim. Not that it better be a hot adult. Think right friend. now, if it's, not, if, it's, if it's some like fat dude that fell in, is like. Right, but if he's hot, you're there. Yeah, if like John Stamos fell in, <laughs> I'm glad you went. With he cracks his head on the fucking uh, on the step on the way in. I'm like, holy shit, that's the guy from Full House. Look, get get him out of there. Yeah, I'd did you guys have uh, when you would swim in pools or whatever as a kid? Obviously, there were those pictures of the people breaking their neck from diving. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, was there a? I never knew anyone who that happened to, and I'm realizing now. I think adults might have been fibbing to me about like local kids getting paralyzed from it hmm. there's what do you would know is that's that's not super common right like, not that i know of but I, you mean no. diving in hitting like into a shallow I, and, I feel like hitting yeah. your hitting the bottom and getting a scrape is super common hitting the bottom and getting a neck injury i've never seen it yeah that was like a mythos like a like a tooth fairy level thing like when i'd go swimming like parents would like don't you dive in there Remember what happened to little Timmy Smith up the road? And it's like, Timmy Smith, I never heard of him. And they're like, and you never will again what because he's paralyzed giving like motivational speeches in Australia. <laughs> Every swimmer <laughs> is a competitive swimmer who's dove into a pool a thousand, two thousand, six thousand times has hit their face on the bottom at one point. I had a teammate. He was really good. He was all American. And he would always do this thing at the start of every practice where he jumped up abnormally high and then he went straight down. And the water was like three and a half feet deep, and he was always fine. That it's just trying to loosen himself up. I think he was showing off. It was a thing that he was good at. And if you looked at it, you'd be like, that has to be dangerous. Right? Everyone jumped in the shallow end, but we would take a shallow dive. Yeah. This guy went straight down like a pencil, and then underwater, he would just curve it up and save it. I'm going to swim more this summer. That Me sounds too. fun. My pool opens uh... tomorrow. Well, Ooh. Kind of. It takes a while for the water to get clean, but tomorrow the guy's coming. A lot of kids would jump off uh, into the rock quarries when I was a kid. There's oh. lots of, especially in Elberton, Georgia, there's just tons of these quarries, and basically it's a square hole underneath the dirt. Surprise, surprise. And you're just on top of a, a, a giant cap of granite that encompasses the entire county. So you can cut square holes into the ground that is just rock. They're un it's just rock down there, just solid and mm -hmm. deep. So but super deep, right? Like too deep for a human to touch, maybe. What do you mean touch? Like if you try to swim to the bottom and come back with a rock. Oh, who even fucking knows? Because yeah. what they'll do is they're they're mining essentially in these quarries, and they the sides of the quarry have these square holes, and it's just it'll be it's a huge hole in the ground, and then it's full of water. I went to a place that there's a. Um, a skeet shooting place, sporting clay, a sporting clay place in mm -hmm. Elberton where they utilize rock quarries. So they'll throw the skeet out over the rock quarries and you'll shoot them out there. And it's, it's cool because the shot will hit the opposite side and you can see it hit the rock. And because the, the skeet always hits the rock in the same place. So it's just stained the rock orange because I thought millions of them mm -hmm. have fucking hit that rock. But the bottom is God knows. You don't know. Maybe it's 50, 60, 70, 150. You don't know. So they would, um, I say they, kids around here have always set up these giant rope swings and cable pulley swings. They'd sometimes use, utilize some of the leftover cranes and, um, and stuff like that. And I remember my dad growing up told a story about his brother-in-law was standing there while people were doing the, the swing. And the way it worked, you swung out, you let go, do a flip, land in the water. Oh, yeah. And then there's a, uh, 
um, a, a string tied to the cable. You, you swing out on a cable, but there's a string tied to the cable so we can retrieve the cable so the next person can go. Well, my dad's brother-in-law is literally just an idiot, like, like probably special. And he's standing like a cartoon character in the coil of rope. Like, we're here to do the thing. Like, don't oh. imagine that he's, like, having a beer by a campfire way over there. We're all here on a ledge. He's, he's standing like Wiley stand. Coyote on the yeah. edge of the cliff. He, has, he is Wiley coyote <laughs> standing in the fuck Elmer Fudd. Like, like, and so the next person goes and... <laughs> and it's Brick Mason cord. If you don't, you're not familiar with this, I'm very not. strong, very thin string. It's, it's hmm. like super fishing line, maybe, but it is string. Nylon wraps around his foot, drags him out upside down over the fucking quarry while the other person is swinging along too. And he dangles as the thing slices and cuts through his fucking foot in like eight different places. And they're so poor back then. Dad's like, Grandmama was putting tomatoes and potatoes and roots and poultices <laughs> and they was spitting tobacco juice on it. <laughs> A <little Pissing>. <laughs> like, and wouldn't you know it got real infected? <laughs> that's what, I was like, did that that worked? He's like, near about fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he was gonna lose a goddamn foot. <laughs> uh, about plum fell off. <laughs> about plum fell off. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Dude, my grandpa and your dad would just thick as thieves. They would get along so well. The way you say hmm. he phrases and talks about things, it's just a it's a country farmer southern thing. They dad's, have that archetype. Dad's watched too many Coen Brothers movies, so he he likes that old timey, um, silly, uh, like 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 I don't know dialogue. So he, he'll he, he's he's silly the way he does that stuff. He loves Oh Brother Where Art Thou and. Um, What's the other one? Um, when oh, uh, Nicholas Scrub, Buster Scrub. Raising Arizona, Raising Arizona. If you've never seen Raising Arizona, not you, Taylor. I, I, I would bet my life my grandpa hasn't seen any of those movies. This is just, that's just the way he talks. <laughs> 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 yeah. Damn. So did you ever leap into the quarry? Fuck no. No. Because never. No, I don't think I was ever invited, if I'm being 100% honest. But I also mm. remember my cousin saying that um, I swear this happened. He dreamt, my dad told him, not, he, he's like, hey, you shouldn't be doing that. That's dangerous. You know, when I was growing up, kids would get hurt and your Uncle Porty fucking mm. like nearly lost his foot one time. Your Uncle doing Lefty. That, uh. Doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uncle. <laughs> and, so, arm. and so um, Scott said he had a dream that he, that he drowned. Like they'd been going every every weekend and spending the whole weekend up there jumping, like doing backflips and shit. But he dreamt that he drowned. So he didn't go. And the day he didn't go, his buddy drowned. Like, buddy jumps in, hits something under the water, and didn't come up. Like, Oof. died. The Shit. Reaper needed a soul. It would have been him. But I don't know. Maybe. That's, that's, the, maybe, that's the scary maybe part. Maybe his friend would have died if he was there for him. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. At the funeral, too. They, they yeah, hated yeah. that. It's they hated the eulogy. that. Uh, done done that my friend, a... Here lies I'm... Travis. It's Scott's fault. Yeah, <laughs> they always called Scott his guardian angel. <laughs> the, the one day he wasn't there, I've like yeah. done the, not a quarry jump, but I've done stuff like that in the Ozarks, like off the like rocky outcrops over it, especially with the ropes. And sometimes you'll be doing it like if you drive through the Ozarks, there will be like the local spots that you're passing on the way to like where the people who live in Kansas city or St. Louis or whatever, go and swim. And they will be like the oldest ricketyest ropes as these like locals are swinging out. And some of them are like fat as shit, fat as shit swinging out over this and the rope holds. And so that just, a, but you see that and you're like, that's a matter of time. Someone's going to, you know, there's a bunch of jagged rocks that if you were to fall 15 feet, you know, prematurely in your swing, you're going to break your legs or break your I think your that neck. an athletic person can fall just much better. Like, I, I think that if That's you, true. And a lot of these people are drunk, and I think you're better at falling if you're drunk. Oh. I, all right, I'm going to... I'm gonna, I think you're better at having a car accident if you're drunk, but I think that if <laughs> you are They're outstanding gotta, like, at it. They get most of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Running up the score. <laughs> they're just loosey-goosey. They're not posting up on that wheel. But I think if you're gonna like fall down an embankment, you want to have your wits about you so you can maybe 
you know, not snap your knees backwards or like post up, like Dude. I said. And yeah, maybe. Kyle's I guess I just so heard someone. So I do a lot of sports falling. where people fall, whether it be paramotoring, paragliding, <laughs> acrobatic paragliding, or motorcycling. People fall dirt biking. And there is a giant correlation between how athletic they are and how often they get hurt. Like the yeah. athletes, they just bounce better, man. Part of it's because they're lighter. You know, they just, if you weigh 150, falling is not as big a deal as if you weigh 250. Boom. Oh, yeah. But also, I don't know, like muscles help a little bit and just being fit and athletic. Um, yeah, your tendons and the connective tissues are all like tougher, stronger, better if you're working out. You know, maybe you're making good, fast decisions during the fall, too. Yeah. You know, that, that somebody else isn't. I'm not sure. You can see that it's like with ice skating. Like mm. there were times where like for school events or whatever, we all go ice skating or something. And someone who knows what they're doing, like they fall and they like, they know to like try and land on their hip, their, their quad, like take some of the, the pressure off in the soft area. Don't stick your hand out like this and break your wrist like an mm -hmm. idiot. And then sometimes you'd see someone fall who clearly had never skated before. And they do like a, they do like a, a, a three stooges, like whoop, 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 where their feet start coming out and they just tumble backwards, hit their head. And it's like, oh, that, that could have been catastrophic. We could have mm -hmm. watched that woman die right just now in the middle oh. of our field trip and not gotten to go to the taco There's or the hot dog stand motorcycle parallels on that. Like I, I watch these people who are very good at YouTube and there's two motorcycle disciplines called hard enduro and trials. And both of them are real slow speed things where they're climbing on like, I don't know, sewage pipes that are six feet tall rocks that are four feet tall. The sort of thing where you like you're doing a wheelie stationary and then you like hop onto the next rock if you can imagine. acrobatic that. yeah that trials the game the video game back okay in the game. so um these guys do that and when they fall it's amazing to me because they manage to do it like they see the fall coming they decide that it's time to bail and then they let themselves and their motorcycles down and nothing's damaged mm -hmm. meanwhile like <laughs> I'll be on like a, a trail where to the right, if I fall, it's three feet lower and to the left, if it's three feet higher and I'm just the closest I can come is try to fall to the high side. Like let's err on the high side. Cause if I fall with a three feet drop, I'm kind of fucked. I'm not that good at it. Mm -hmm. Like it, 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 I'll look like a non-athlete when I fall to the low side and other people are just amazing. Have you but, ever played whatever. sports with someone who's like direly unathletic? Yes. Yes. It's it, I hate funny. it. Oh, <laughs> I, I've told this story before. In college, I got thrown out of the dorms and I had to like quick scurry. And I got this, uh, this woman was renting out extra bedrooms to help her pay rent. Well, one of the other persons who rented a different bedroom, wild loser, like crazy social anxiety. He would have like, uh, he got like straight A's, but he was always trying to and he couldn't he had no friends and uh and he <laughs> couldn't exist himself. in like any crowds yeah he committing it was like a twice a week thing for him and uh <laughs> he really sucked at it he was terrible at everything except for school <laughs> which i envied <laughs> but uh um anyway i was like this poor guy you know like he doesn't have any friends i'm gonna play frisbee with him huge fucking mistake right like i throw the frisbee at him practically hit him in the fucking nose and he doesn't catch it okay whatever he picks it up he throws it oh. to me he's off by 90 degrees and i'm like am i supposed to get that like i'm closer to it it's closer to you <laughs> you don't get that like, but no i didn't i ran and i got it and i threw it from there and i'm just like running to wherever he's randomly throwing this thing Jeez. he's like you are not athletic enough to be my friend i'm failing <laughs> 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 this is fucking yeah, loser this yeah. idiot maybe Dude. he got better at tying knots and he's he's out of here <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah can, uh, his attempts like I, I i know i've told some of these stories before but like one time he took pills and like so i like call 911 we get the emts there he calls his mom and he's like mom i've done it it's over now. I'm going to die. I just wanted to call you and say goodbye. And it's like, Jesus Christ, you're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> and he was. Um, there was another time I just heard banging from his room. And uh, he had this little plastic first aid kit that he was banging on a mirror. And he later told me that he was hoping the mirror would break and slice his jugular. What? This is a terrible. This is not a valid story. <laughs> 
Yeah, time. this guy was seeking attention in all the wrong ways. He should have tried being better at sports. <sighs> Loser. He was in a lot of pain. I, what a uh, what race was he? He's a white guy. Ugly white guy, but thin. <laughs> ugly too <laughs> yeah. yeah he was ah just irredeemable fucking loser <laughs> couldn't tie knots couldn't couldn't find a you know hated <laughs> hated elevators <laughs> just couldn't get to the top of a building yeah, to yeah. save his life like there was a kid on our base okay I, I i was trying to think of like the most unathletic person i've ever played sports with and it was this kid in little league and he was just slow like not witted he's a perfectly intelligent person but it just seemed like he was slow in yeah. everything he did. It was like he moved at 0.8 speed. Mm. Sort of like if you said, hey, Bob. That's not his name. But he went, hey, Bob. He'd go, what? <laughs> he was just sl so slow to react. And it was, why was Bob on third base? I can't tell you. But I remember dad, like, that it's practice. And dad's hitting. He's got an aluminum baseball bat in one hand. And he's tossing up a ball. And he's hitting it to people. To is make this them baseball field. or T ball? Baseball. Oh, okay. This is, we're like 13. We can throw. And so he hits it to this big black kid that was playing shortstop, Octavius. Octavius grabs that shit and he was so close to third base, but he turned and he launched it at Bob over third base. And Bob never got his hands up. Ooh. He just ate it in the mouth, just Ooh. ate the baseball right into his braces. And like cuts his lips all the fuck up from the braces, and he's crying. And the EMTs are giving him oxygen. EMTs. Like, well, yeah, they're always there Damn. at the ballpark. Oh, the ballpark oh. has like four. There's like four or five games going on simultaneously at the you know at the ballpark. So kids get hurt all the time. There's always EMTs there. Makes but sense. but it's like I've never seen anybody not get their hands up. It's baseball. It's like what you're there to do. Mm, like yeah. like like it's what you're there to do you is should like, have been expecting like, a throw yeah right like, like i can imagine a world where you're caught by surprise you know you're you're gaming someone to your right is <laughs> like hey, <Kyle."> <laughs> <laughs> i thought it'd be safe in line at the bank <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah. like, like it's like if you're playing goalie taylor and someone like hits a medium one at you intending for you to catch it mm -hmm. you know what i mean like like that's the person throwing the thing wants you to catch it. It's not the opposite. So it's just you mm, don't drop many. True. And if, if you're dropping more than one like a day, there's something. You got to play wrong. outfield or something, right? You got to move them out of there. It's important to catch them back there, too. He was so slow. He couldn't do anything. It Is was there pitiful. a position where it's less important to catch? Isn't right field the easiest one? Because people tend not to hit it there as much. Most, ha most hitters are right-handed, so they're not going to hit it to right field most of the time. So, yeah. There's, there's probably doing the le least amount of fielding out in right field, but hmm. everybody needs to catch, you know, unless you're a pinch hitter. Yeah, that's such a big part catch. of baseball. Pinch hitter. Okay. But you probably have to hit. Yeah, he probably only hit. That's all you do. Or designated hitter as well. Where where could a guy who doesn't hit well or catch or throw well play? Coach or umpire. Coach. <laughs> all right, those you can coach teach. and you can umpire. And, and, and <laughs> guys that can't catch, throw, or count have to be coaches and guys that don't know anything about the game, I guess, end up being the umpires. There's a couple of umpires mm. that are like, there's a whole YouTube series made about how bad they are. Um, and, and I, I think all major sports are fixed. I, I can't As get my vision deteriorates, point. I think I'm getting more qualified to be an umpire.